Hello everybody and welcome to the brand new fact sheets for Farming Simulator 19. There's going to be many of these coming out over the next few weeks and I suppose you could say months because the game is not released until the 20th of November. But even so, we do have four today. We kick things off with the Matty Ferguson Ideal Combine Harvester, which costs 465,000 euros. You can configure the engine from anything uh, starting at 538 to 647 horsepower. The fuel capacity is 1,000 litres, and you can also travel 40 kilometres per hour, or 24 miles per hour. That would be the road speed, not the harvesting speed. And the grain tank capacity is 17,100 litres. That is massive. Uh, and of course, you can configure the engine and the design, which looks to be the brand, so most likely between Massey Ferguson and Fent. Along with this, we have the Power Flow header, likewise, it's by Massey Ferguson, uh, 79,000 euros, and it has a working width of 12 meters or 40 foot, so a massive header. Uh, that will be the threshing speed, 6 miles per hour, 10 kilometers per hour, and with this, you can harvest wheat, barley, oats, canola, or oilseed rape, and soybeans. And of course, again, with this, you can change the brand. When running such a large combine harvester, you're going to have to have a fairly large auger wagon or chaser bin to keep up. And of course, with this being a really large chaser bin, you have to have a big tractor to tow it. So, we have a Fent 1100MT, uh, which is the crawler tractor you can see just there, costing €428,000. You can customise the engine horsepower and also, it calls it the wheel setup, but essentially the tracks. Um, the range on the horsepower is 492 to 646 horsepower the fuel tank capacity is 1000 liters the traveling speed is 40 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour and then as i've said it is the customizable track so you can have standard or you can have three meter tracks on the back of here we have the elmer's Hallmaster, which is the very large auger wagon. Uh, it costs 93,000 euros and it requires 400 horsepower to pull it so this is obviously a suitable tractor for the job. It has a capacity of 46,000 litres to 70,000 litres. Uh, this is customisable. And you can carry a wide range of different crops in here. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, seed, and I think fertiliser, but I am yet to know for sure on that one. So you can customise the main colour and the capacity. Moving on to the second set of fact sheets, we have the Samson PG225, which is a slurry spreader. So coupled up with this, we have the drip hose boom. Uh, but first of all, let's just focus on the tank itself. It costs 87,000 euros and it requires 220 horsepower. It has a capacity of 25,000 liters, so that is a lot of slurry. And it has a traveling speed of 10 miles per hour. In here, you can put slurry, and I believe digest state. It is also configurable, so you can choose standard or narrow tires depending on the application uh, that it's going to be used for. So we have also the SBH 436, which is the drip hose boom. It costs 40,000 euros and it has a working width of 36 meters, which is 120 feet. It also has a travelling speed or a working speed of 17 kilometres per hour, which is 10 miles per hour. You've probably already noticed, but I can see a cement mixer, at least I believe it is a cement mixer, in the background. So I'm not entirely sure what this is all about. I don't know if this is the traffic which is passing by. Very interesting if it is, or it could be another feature of the game. I'm not too sure. Please do feel free to discuss down below, and I'm sure we can have another discussion on this in a future video. Now I'm sure when using such a massive slurry spreader, the last thing you're going to want to do is keep going back to the yard to fill up. So this is why we have a field container, which we'll come on to in a minute. But first of all, we actually do need to focus on the tractor, which is attached to the slurry spreader, and it is the John Deere 8R series. It costs €299,000, and you have a range of horsepower from 290 to 450. So it can potentially be an incredibly high horsepower tractor. It has a fuel tank capacity of 675 litres and it has a travelling speed of 50 km per hour or 31 miles per hour. You can customise the engine, the wheels and the wheel brand. So you can choose from standard, wide, twin and rear twin wheels. 
it really is a good looking tractor and of course it has been focused on an awful lot uh, in the, the run up so far to release. Uh, at the moment we don't know of any other John Deere tractors which are going to be in the game but I'm sure there will be more obviously. That is the whole idea behind the fact sheet so we do find out more about what's going to be in the game prior to release. And finally, we have the Garant Cot field container, which is 25,000 euros and it requires 50 horsepower. It doesn't require an awful lot because obviously it, it, you don't tow it with it full. You fill it up at the field and then you fill up the slurry, ta the slurry spreader from it, uh, which is actually very interesting because you can see the great big boom, which is going over into it and sucking it out. I really do like that. Um, so anyway, yeah. 55,000 litres is the capacity of the field container, so that is a very high capacity. Um, but when you're using such a large slurry spreader, yeah, it might uh, still get through it fairly quickly. Anyway, you can see what it can contain. Slurry and, like I say, potentially digestate. Not entirely sure on the little icon there. But you can customise the main colour and the wheel setup, and you can choose between standard and wide tyres. So this, so far, has been very interesting, really loving the look of it so far. Uh, obviously you've been able to see the four different screenshots which are in this, and it does certainly show off the game in a very good light. I really do still have very high hopes for the game, and, uh, well, everything I've seen so far has been very promising. Uh, still, we do have the uh, the 2D tracks, or the, the, the flat texture on the tracks, um, but, uh, yeah, when you compare it to this picture for example it makes up for it it does look to be a very realistic game anyway thank you so much for watching and until the next one see you again very soon bye for now